oh, you know, we, uh, in my past life, called this a Friday surprise. And this Friday yeah. has been one of several. So let's get to the first one. Jim Jordan is out after losing a third vote for Speaker of the House. He dropped out of the race. There was an internal secret ballot. The vote, 86 Republicans for Jordan, 112 against, saying they're ready to move on. NBC's Chris Pallone is live in D.C. with the very latest. So, Chris, can you talk to us about what ha else happened in this meeting just a few hours ago? I heard several representatives coming out of it saying it was just chaos. Yeah, and that's how it's been for the better part of two weeks, Christy. Uh, the Republicans have not been able to coalesce around a candidate. And in fact, Jim Jordan uh, from Ohio there uh, did worse and worse with each successive vote. And it's really hard to put your finger on exactly why he lost, because this coalition of Republicans that kept him from winning that speaker's gavel is a very diverse group, even for the Republicans. Uh, you have some Republicans who are considered relatively moderate. You have some who won in Biden districts. You had some from red states, some from blue states, some who don't like Jim Jordan's approach to spending. And so they were able to coalesce to keep him from winning the speaker's gavel. And he went uh, from getting 20 votes uh, short on the first ballot, 22 the last ballot, and then 25 less Today, he kept losing votes. And so once they got to that conference meeting this afternoon after the latest failed vote, there was a lot of finger pointing. There was a lot of uh, arm twisting. Some, some of the Republicans who voted against him expressed concern about the way that they felt like they were being bullied by allies of Jim Jordan and, and almost being shamed into voting for him. That just caused them to dig in even further and decide not to vote for him. And so uh, with the writing on the wall, they took that secret ballot and he got far fewer votes than necessary, uh, as you mentioned, 112 to 86 Republicans saying, uh, no more Jim Jordan, we got to find somebody else. So, Chris, I, I was watching Representative Dusty Johnson when he came out. He was very upset. He said that we need somebody who's mission-driven, somebody focused on doing something rather than being something, and calling on somebody new to step forward. What do we know about the latest names out there for people who are ready to step up to this nomination? So already several have come out and said that they are openly courting this position. Republicans who are interested in the speaker's gavel have until noon on Sunday to declare their intentions to run. There will be a candidates forum on Monday night and then the first vote will be taken. There'll be a caucus meeting before the first vote where they'll try to coalesce around a candidate who can actually win and then the first vote for speaker on this round will take place on Tuesday. Some of the names we're hearing, I just updated my list a second ago. We know that Kevin Hearn from Oklahoma, Jack uh, Bergman from Michigan, uh, Tom Emmer from Minnesota, Byron Donalds from Florida, Jody Arrington from Texas, Roger Williams and Pete Sessions from Texas, Austin Scott from Georgia, and Dan Muser from Pennsylvania, uh, as well as Mike Johnson from Louisiana, all expressing interest at this point. Whether they'll all formally enter, uh, right now just three are formally in, whether they all get in by Sunday is up in the air. All right. Chris Pallone, boy, you gave us a lot of information we've been looking for. Thank you so much. Appreciate you.